The game is Catholic Trivia. The rules are quite simple. I'll ask eight questions on various topics related to the Catholic faith. Then, the contestant responds with their best guess. To win the prize, which is a gift card to Tim Hortons, the contestant must answer five out of the eight questions correctly. Let's begin. Okay, I'll start off easy. But hopefully easy. Okay, Makaya's where's Ma where's Makaya? Where'd she go? She's fetching her chickens. They wandered where they're not supposed to be. So <laughs> she just needs to grab them and move them and then we'll be back. We're waiting on the run, chickens. Chicken, run. So, okay, question number one. How many sacraments are there? Seven. So, seven. Okay, so yeah, you can confer with each other. And then uh, if you want to give your answer together, give your answer together or just shout it out and, and possibly ruin everything for everybody. Okay, question number two. This is a bit of a long setup and it's a multiple choice. Was Galileo burnt at the stake for A, teaching that the movement of the earth caused tides in the ocean, B, proclaiming that to obtain complete knowledge depends on science and not on the teaching of the church with divine revelation. C, for teaching the earth revolves around the sun. Or D, none of the above, because Galileo was not burned at the stake. Guy who, earth around the sun. I'm pretty sure that was his thing, but burned at the stake? That part I don't know. Burned at the stake. What era was this? Were they burning people? Was this yeah. a burning people era? <laughs> were they doing that back then? Come on. Were they even doing that? <laughs> yeah. They were. The stakes are high. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that means? <laughs> so, A, B, C, or D. Yeah, we're gonna go with D. That is wrong. Oh. It's it's D. Galileo was, was not, not in fact stake. burned at the stake. <laughs> and you know what? But the fact is, is that many people actually believe that Galileo was burned at the stake. He wasn't. He actually was only under house arrest. And apparently it was a really nice house and people could come and visit. Okay. I have a complaint with that piece of trivia. <laughs> what? Hard for a second question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if you can do better with number three. <laughs> What is it called when the cardinals are locked in together to choose a new pope? Is it A, an encyclical? Two, uh, that would be B, <laughs> an ecclesial referendum? C, a conclave? Or D, a motu proprio? Can we get a translation? <laughs> <laughs> Motu. We probably could translate that. No, I don't know. Yeah, but it just sounds Latin, so it's got to be official sounding, right? <laughs> that That's why I put it in there. Oh, I see. You can't throw it through, <laughs> you? Try, I'm trying to throw you off with that one. Oh, well, thanks for that. Okay, so it's not <laughs> <laughs> No, because that's what a pope writes. So, oh. Very good. <laughs> I got that one. You're, you're on the right track. No, guess Okay, we're going with C. C is correct. <gasps> Yay! Very good. It is called a conclave. You knew it. I did. I surprised you. Very myself. good. You had it. You had it here inside in the gut. Question number four: What day of the year is the feast of Mary, Mother of God, celebrated on? Um, that was recently, wasn't it? I think so. That was this summer, like August. Do we have to get the month and the day? Um, it would month? be good if you could get the month and the day, but I'll give you a little hint. It's not August. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot, a no. lot earlier in the year. Is it January 1st? It is January 1st. Very good. I just didn't know the official name of it. <laughs> That's a good job. Good job, Micaiah. Oh, you guys are actually mounting up some good scores here. Hold on a second. You got one, two, three. You got three already. There you, go. there you go. Okay, number five. How many fruits of the spirit are there? <laughs> like how we choose, we can compare. I got none. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nine. <laughs> nine. Very good. Very good. Nine it is. There are nine fruits of the spirit. I always got I had to sing the song in my head. Oh, <laughs> you you have a song for? Okay, sing the song. No. 
<laughs> oh, come on. Please sing the song. I'm being recorded. I'm not just singing a recording. <laughs> I never remember. I know that there's nine now because I'm older and I know. <laughs> but I would have always confused them between the seven gifts of the Spirit. Number six this is a little tricky. In with. Because <laughs> they all haven't been tricky. All right. They've been a breeze, you know. Okay. Okay. This isn't so sweet. This is business. Let's get down to it. Number six. In which church is the cathedra? The cathedra is the chair. So like the official bishop's chair. Okay. And there's only one in all the dioceses, like eat for each diocese. Okay. So there's only one. There's only one for each diocese. Okay. So in which church is the cathedra of the Bishop of Rome? Is it A, St. Mary Major, B, uh, St. Peter's Basilica, C, St. Paul's Outside the Wall, or D, St. John Lateran? Those are all churches in Rome, by the way. I'm going to guess D. Very good. St. John Lateran. Yes. There you go. And, and with that, with that, you have won the two of you uh, each a Tim Hortons card. Wow, look at that. Well done. Okay, you win a million dollars. There you go. <laughs> you guys got like only one wrong that I can see. It was that stinky Galileo question. It was the, Gal the stinky sure. Galileo question. Way to go. Good job. You guys uh, are allowed to stay in the church now. That's awesome. <laughs> and you're allowed, you're allowed to keep your university diplomas. Very good. Or... Wow, I didn't know the stakes were that high. <laughs> there was, they were high. But... There was a lot on the line. There was a lot that on the line. Lot. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate your chickens joining us for this uh, <laughs> this show. Do we get a view of the chicken? You're gonna spin around and uh, and get a. Uh... <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> They're sisters, so they match. Oh, that's very sweet. And so, okay, this is uh, Olivia. You have Chia. And Mikai, you have Miet. And what kind of chicken are they? They're Sussex chickens. Well, thank you so much for taking time. And I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all your chickens and everything. And uh, thanks for having, uh, being willing to do the game and everything. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, God, thank you so much, Scott, for putting this all together. And it's a lot of fun. So uh, have a good night. <laughs>